That is interesting. Usually you see it being used to help with slows. Because yep. remember, the slow negation coming in from the Rafael like, can be value. But here we go. This is going to be another like rotation, speed, gameplay. Yep. And on the Fredrin, you can bet that Irad is trying to take matters into his own hands. Yeah, I think he'll be charging in with the backup of the Rafael as well, playing in proximity of Brusco. He's playing together closely. It's going to be one hell of a battle again. Will they be able to strike back? Swinging their swords back towards Onik. But here we see draft analysis, Arashi. Late game potential for the side of RRQ right here. The Nathan doesn't lie. Yep. The Nathan, the, the Vexana. There's a lot of ways they can do this, but Onik, if, if, if it's on paper, they can do it. But against Onik, nothing is ever on paper. Yep. It's in the land of dawn. Land of dawn. We will go and march again. Sky Kings against the Kings Smash of Kings. Them. But one of their crowns will shatter. Will they be able to place it back? It's RQ against Onik in game number two. Man, I wonder how the mid lane clear is going to look. Vexana Rafaela is a lot of clear. And Mathilda doesn't really, you know, clear, quote unquote, that fast. And here we go already. A very aggressive 2v2 attempt. Mm -hmm. yep. Sun's just focusing on the wave right now. He gets the Mystic Projectile and he wins out the trade as Ooh. well. On top of the faster clear and Keyboy, this is the really, really annoying thing about the Mathilda, right? That sustain, second skill, the cancel on the recall, forcing Okta back even more. And they want to do it again. Okta pops the regen instead, wants to stay in lane. Yeah, that's dangerous, man. And Okta, we saw him try and go for the trades instead of the clear, so losing out on the level 2 power spike, and then he missed his, uh, one of his, uh, his cursed blasts on the minion weave as well. What is going on there? Yeah, the key boy with the Mathilda will be very proactive in the map. So annoying. With all the mobility that he has, the damage as well to sustain everything to really help get his, get his side lanes going. So for Boots and Don, of course. Oh, Albert. Head to head in lane, and we will see the emblems coming in. Looking at the emblems, of course, for Mathilda, it's standard, but for Sans, of course, that's Inspire. He's trying to go for as much cooling as possible. Albert, though, yeah. showing some spark here, some aggression, it's trying to carry. go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Natan, knowing that in the lane, it's kind of a, a race towards the late game. He's trying to go aggressive. Uh-oh. Skylar has oh, no. Flicker, but the guy to win brings it back. It's oh. First blood to Keyboy. A very rare sight to see Skylar overextending. And yeah. that Master Assassin is doing really good now. Yep. It was so, so full of damage from Keyboy. He's able to pop Skylar back to his base. And that was so uncharacteristic of Skylar. He was so far, had to burn his fl uh, flicker. But thankfully, for Arik, you know, they're in the turtle race, of course. Trying to take this down. And Kyrie is ready with his retribution. He has the heavy spin as well. Keyboy trying to give him enough room to play. Oh, and oh. Heavy Spin locks him down. Oh, Irad. Irad still finds it. An amazing red tree from Irad on the Frederick. Yeah. Oh, all right. We're talking about the Eradicator. He's showing glimpses of that. Already a, a small win, but valuable win for RRQ. And across the map, you're seeing everyone's <laughs> trying to go hard, but Skylar, whoa. The ping pong. <laughs> It's always so fun to watch. Yeah, it is. A new application, of course, GoPay. This is Albert's first encounter with RRQ Hoshi and MPL Indonesia as an opponent after previously fighting alongside RRQ Hoshi for 1,031 days. That's a long, long journey with RRQ. But Keyboy now gets jumped on. Ooh, not even a Oh, that's a pain. Oh, oh no. You hate to see it as a Kingdom fan yourself, but that was a bait. And Keyboy is a master. Sans was just behind him. Ready to pounce when given the chance. Gush down to eternity. And Skylar losing twice now. Arad jumps in towards Albert. Let's see, Arad wants to go for it. Has the brace man, Albert. He's waiting for that guiding win. Gets the guiding win, and Arad now is caught in a bad spot. That's the headbutt, and also the heavy spin putting him down. Bruce Wood doing a good job, though, and bringing Arad back. Whoa, 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 Albert. Albert, hello. Oh, Albert gets oh. on, oh, he doesn't. Irad finds the kill and Skylar rotates over. A little bit of a mistake from Onik and they pay the price. RRQ equalize. The swing coming in and Albert was just dead without even us realizing that. And RRQ was quick to back up their jungler. The crowd control advantage, the Vexana man, that was so close. And even the heavy spin, they just were unable to get Irad fast enough. 
a bit of miscommunication maybe because Albert was just way too low right there. And with that space, the split second, they might try and rush the turtle. Holy Baptism 2, the lock boots down and RQ look for more here. Nope, they decide to just back off. Keyboy gave him a vision and then backed up with the circling eagle. Yeah, all good enough for RQ. They, they're able to stabilize everything. But Onyx still kind of at least neutralize the pressure. RQ is just everywhere. And Skylar just farming these plates, making up for his mistakes earlier, dying twice so early. Especially as a, as a Nathan, you are susceptible to the ganks coming in. So for RQ, of course, they really, really seek out. The burst cuts it's only for a few select basic attacks after you use your ultimate, I believe. So Skylar will have to be timing that quite a bit. And RQ, they have the advantage here. Oh. They stole it! Oh. Irad with a poke. A little stab there, an eternal guard. A Bracer to wrap the Eradicator! He just took Keyboy down! Not a turtle. Irad with a jump forward boots. boots. With Wave of Spider to the backside, but it gets stunned up. And before he could even use the anti CC part, Bruce goes slays boots. The Mystic Gush not able to lock him down. Irad oh. with a Rectory win over Kai Ray and Skyler picks up the kill. RRQ are back. RRQ scavenge everything. They had the buff. They took the turtle. They took the kills as well. Kyrie and Boots having to concede those deaths. And now RRQ seek out revenge. Trying to win back the Mr. Gush connects now. Uh oh, the guy oh. hit with the laser. But the final slash from Dawn gets him out. That was a very interesting interaction. Oh. Eternal Guard, Boots, Boots, Chain CC, and Natan comes over, not able to get into the range just yet. Boots zone away though, and Skyler will be able to pick up a free turret with that Entropy. Man, a lot of action back and forth. But on the other side though, Onik looking for plays of their own. They will be able to trade equally. And again, Onik just trying to recover, trying to find ways to trade back, stall the game a bit, because this kind of fast-paced tempo, this is what RRQ likes. They want this chaotic situation because they have more blood control and it gets weird. Oh, Skyler, assassin mode, walks up forward with a guiding wind to Grant Sans' safety. Kyrie dashes in, red trees, and takes his purple buff. Yep. That was so it's only running the Dreadnought armor for now, knowing that there is so, uh, the early game advantage and the fact that Albert isn't really going to be a huge problem until later, much, much later on. So he is going to be a, so difficult to deal with for now because Sans will not be able to really harass him down. Yep. So Skylar is in a safe spot so far. Lord has been spawned. Now Keyboy eyeing, scouting, scavenging. Reconnaissance, of course, in that area. Irad is ready to poke it out, just pulling it out of the pit. And Onik has to respond to this. Albert. Hiding in the shadows, shrouded in secrecy. Irad jumps in, tries to erupt, but no damage given. No execution, oh! Don! Final flash flicker from Don, bringing two members back right into the entropy. He's free hitting Sans. Isolated, still able to escape. RRQ on the Lord Hell, holding oh. it down and taking it away from Onyx grasp. Lord slain by RRQ. Crowd control is absolutely the answer for RRQ. They've always been outmaneuvered, out you know, baited by Onyx. But with that kind of crowd control, what can you do? Final slash into the Eternal Guard. That's one combo that Onik do not want to be on the receiving edge of. But what, going for the purple? Seems like RRQ are setting up for one more. Irad stands there menacingly. Oh, trying to backdoor the, the minions as well. Standing so strong and they have Siege now. Uh, rather getting the turret in their hands. So bottom turret, top turret, all down. Just uh, last tiers. And for RRQ. Of course, the pressure exerted so, so much. They have to prepare for this fight. Onik has to hold it further. They have all the CC, they have all the burst. And look at how fast they take down the turret. Oh, Whoa. an aggressive <laughs> entropy move by Skyler. Spicy. He has that on up for cooldown very, very soon. Harry gets brought back towards the Lord now. And oh, a final slash into the Eternal Guard, into everything. The Mystic Gush oh, does a good job of clearing away, but Don is still able to survive for now. Dodges away from his projectiles. Kairi gets chunked as well, but Albert is able to deal with that Lord. No base turrets for our Q, but I think they'll take that win very happily. Yep, of course, after that siege, they're able to hold still the Gord, I think. We'll be able to hold the pushes coming in, the sieges. That anti-siege maybe with the Mystic Gush, but then again, you're gonna expend it only to clear the creeps, only to push them away. So what happens then after that, if you want to re-engage? The damage, of course, coming in has to be constantly there. 
and Mystic Gush does can contribute to that, you know, kind of like fight later on. Available you need that to try and make the play happen must be Kyrie or Sans, who can land that big crowd control. Because keep in mind, there's no purifiers on the set of RRQ. If a good uh, Mystic projectile lands onto Okta or Skylar, that could be the end of the show for RRQ. So they better make sure that the positioning is on point. Yeah, no purifiers. That is something to highlight, of course, because Kyrie and Boots both. They have locked down, of course. Sans as well could contribute to that stun collection of Onik. But the Lord now sieged by oh. RQ. Irat steps Whoa. too far. There's the gush, but the final stop oh. cancels it. Brings him back right now. As Kairi jumps with the heavy spin, he's going to be caught by the eternal guard. That's a circling Eagle and the guiding wind. They're all there. Oh. And both fights a kill onto the Frenchman. This might be massive. Kairi wins the retribution. Two members what? down. How did Onik do that? That was so quick. Everything happened. In split second, Sans fishing for more. Keyboy chases Bruce go down, but nothing is gonna happen. And Onyx take the advantage. Oh no! Ooh. Another Mystic Gush to clear out that wave. Skylar is still alive. That was a 6,000 gold lead for 5k Ooh. that Onyx just fought their way out of. It's the gold, it's the difference in just damage output, man. We said it's gonna be Sans or Kyrie. He lands the stun, everyone just moves fast enough, knowing that if they start the fight, if it starts on their terms, they have what it takes to really win it out. And RRQ just weren't prepared at all, man. Irad just got deleted, and that was the end of it. That was a strat, a play that Onik has saved, has oh. used, but look at that, Sans! Gets brought back, Don, what a playmaker. Time and time again. Oh, that final slash Dawn has been on point with the slashes. The previous fight, he got three. And now he's able to catch Sans into the base. Of course, uh, Onik still reset. The Lord is down. Also, RRQ. At least they'll try to neutralize. But let's see. Replay. Saturday by our official, uh, official tournament smartphone, Samsung Galaxy. That flash from Dawn, but he was just caught the in the middle of Lord. nowhere. Yeah, and that Lord as well. Oh, he was just swinging everywhere. So much damage. Yeah, it did. That's the problem here. They were just trying to set up for the Lord, but then Irat was a bit too overextended. Didn't respect the burst potential. Due to both the true damage right. heal, back to the same game plan. Now, wiser to the risk that Onik can pose to them. Yeah, Kyrie almost gets caught hit there. Irat, no follow-up as well. Still, the Lord Dance going to be very, very significant, very influential in the flow of the game. Let's take a look at Coach Adi there, just staring full off surprises, of course. Onyx still turned this around. SRQ trying to just poke out the Lord, pulling it in the pit, but it resets, so try to just kind of like play this ping pong game with Onyx in the, in the Lord pit. It's just the classic old Lord dance, but look at the other side of the map. The waves are pushing in favor of our RQ, so they are happy to let this dance go on for as long as possible. Already, Boots rotating. This could be a moment. Will RRQ be able to capitalize with that information? Boots is waiting RRQ to show himself. Yeah, Skylar just cleared that top wave, so now it's pushing towards Onyx. No, they want to go for the bottom, it. Bottom, bottom wave as well. Oh, uh oh. Don, final slash. That's the playmaking tool that he has been able to find success on, but that was a bit random. I think <laughs> it might be a misclick, a mistap. And now Boots is back. He's done with the wave. No final slash, the Mystic Gush comes in, Kyrie able the to lock Irad down, and in the back, Keyboy almost deals with the dog, the finds it again, now it's Retro oh. Battle, Irad wins it in the back, but Boots is able to find the Bravest Fighter, forcing Skylar to flick it around, no entry to be used right now as Don will be taken down. Sans looking for an angle to stop this recall from happening, they've spotted Okta, can Okta run? No. The Mystic Projectile doesn't connect, and Okta is getting ran down by Onik. now it's a Circling Eagle to take the kill over, two for the Lord. Two for the Lord, but it might still be worth it for RRQ. They want one more front line. They want the power to force Onik into known locations, into fights that they can control. But with two members down, I think Onik will take the Lord out very, very fast. Afterwards, they have to just rely on the waves. You know, Onik was in a pedestal back in that fight. They had the bottom waves pushing. Top was cleared as well by Skylar. They had to respond to that wave, but they did. Expend themselves Whoa. to that Lord. Oh, they try to jump in. Key boy in the back line. Forcing an entropy defensively. Don is here now. He's running very fast. He wants to look for. Oh, another final slash from oh. Don! What? Punished! Unfortunate. He was trying to go for a punish, right? Onik just went and pushed the wave and immediately went for the base turret. Don was not about to let that slide, but 
he just made a mistake right there and now Irad Circling Eagle was used but almost like just a bait. They're just hanging around right here, knowing that they have a one-man oh, advantage. Missed the gush oh. over Brusco with no final slash available. Sans is really, really feeling it. Yeah, and if you take a look, it feels like Sans is just spamming this Mystic Gush. The cooldown has been greatly increased, and he has this tool now to not only use it for the team fights, he can always use it to try to chuck down the HP of the RQ players. And now it's their base being pushed on the top, top, to, top turret, bottom turret, mid turret as well, down to half HP. So they have to be able to defend this as Onik is just running rampant around the map. We are in the final stages of the game though. One of the longest games so far, almost at 20 minutes. Items won't be an issue, it's all about execution. Gold difference will not be a valid excuse. And Irad will be able to get his purple buff still, but this yeah. is a lot of pressure now. Yeah, RRQ had their shields up, their swords ready to swing in the early stages of the game, but it feels like Lord as well. Ready to be taken by both teams. Arad always stepping forward. The movement speed as well being given. And now Kyrie just trying to shadow this objective. It's almost like a classic situation here if you're going up against Onik. If Sans isn't taken out, you know he's about to do something crazy. So that's just extra bits of pressure. Now with the gold difference just eliminated. Oh, oh no! assassination! Sans! I just said it! How? Does he find an angle to us? <laughs> oh, Sans flickers out. Skyler was looking for him. Now they're hunting for Sans, but he's surfing the waves, man. But now it's Keyboy with the circling eagle over. Skyler already used the entropy, so the damage done. Oh. An amazing final slash to bring Keyboy back, but now it's going to be the heavy spin as Boots jumps into the Raven Spider. Oh, oh. and as well to find Skyler in the back. He's there to flicker out. Now with one of the HR Boots chasing him down in no. the back as well. No entropy. It's a double kill for Albert. Skyler, Skyler. buys the immortality. Carry walks up. Now just a few hits. Skyler will fall with Brusco. It's a triple. It's a maniac for Albert. Albert, of all people, crushes down the kingdom. And they swing their sword. This time they swing it hard. And RRQ crumble their empire. Wait, slowly being taken oh down. No, wait, a minute. wait, he wants to time it. Oh no. Mystic projectile right on time. Oh, oh no. Opta in the base. He forces the winner's dungeon in the base. Opta, he oh no. won't take that disrespect. He'll flicker forward and get stunned down. Kyrie heavy spin. Now onto Octa. He brings him back. No way! Unofficial savage! An unofficial <laughs> savage for the once no. prince. Now a Sky King. Onik turned the tides around 2-0. The Sky King stakes down the Cavalier of the Kingdom.